Title, Eternal Echoes of the Forsaken The moon hung low in the ink-black sky, casting eerie shadows upon the desolate town of Ravenswood. Thick fog slithered through the narrow streets, shrouding the buildings in a cold embrace. The wind whispered sinister secrets as it rustled the tattered remains of forgotten memories. Ravenswood was a place where time itself seemed to stand still, where the echoes of long-forgotten horrors still resonated. At the heart of the town stood the dilapidated Ravenswood Asylum, a crumbling edifice that had once housed the most deranged and disturbed minds. Its crumbling walls exuded an aura of malevolence, as if the very bricks were imbued with the anguish of the tormented souls that had been imprisoned within. The asylum had long been abandoned, left to decay in the annals of history. Yet, one fateful night, a group of curious teenagers dared to venture into the accursed asylum. Among those Rachel, a defiant and headstrong girl with an insatiable thirst for the unknown. Her friends, Jack, Sarah, and Mike, reluctantly followed her into the foreboding darkness. As they stepped over the threshold, the air grew thick with dread. The floorboards creaked under their weight, and the oppressive silence was punctuated only by the distant cries of unseen creatures. The group wandered deeper into the asylum, their flashlights flickering like fragile beacons against the encroaching darkness. In a forgotten corner of the building, they stumbled upon a decrepit room, its walls adorned with cryptic symbols. In the center of the room lay a decayed, bloodstained mattress, a relic of the horrors that had once transpired within those walls. Rachel's heart raced as a gnawing sense of unease gripped her. She could feel the weight of the past bearing down on her, suffocating her with its malevolent presence. A sudden draft extinguished their flashlights, plunging them into total darkness. Panic set in, and their desperate attempts to relight the flashlights yielded no results. A whispering wind seemed to echo through the chamber, carrying with it the anguished cries of the damned. As their eyes slowly adjusted to the gloom, they began to see faint, ghostly figures lurking in the shadows. The tormented souls of the asylum's former inhabitants, their hollow eyes fixed on the intruders, longing for release from their eternal suffering. Rachel's heart pounded in her chest as a chilling realization dawned upon her, they were not alone. One by one the apparitions drew closer, their ghostly hands reaching out, fingers like ice against the teen's skin. Rachel's breath hitched as a skeletal hand brushed against her cheek, its touch icy and insistent. She could feel their pain, their agony seeping into her very being. Get out, a voice cried out from the darkness, a desperate plea echoing through the chamber. The voice belonged to Eleanor, a former patient who had met a gruesome fate within these walls. Her spirit was trapped, unable to escape the horrors that had befallen her. In a frenzied panic, the teens scrambled towards the exit, their movements clumsy and erratic. The air grew thick with the anguished wails of the forsaken, a cacophony of despair that threatened to drive them to the brink of madness. The walls seemed to close in around them, the very architecture of the asylum twisting and contorting with malevolent intent. Just as they reached the entrance, a bone-chilling gust of wind swept through the corridor, extinguishing the last flicker of their hope. Rachel turned to look back, her eyes meeting the hollow gaze of Eleanor, whose spectral form had grown more corporeal. With a blood-curdling scream, Rachel realized the horrifying truth. They had become part of the eternal echoes, forever trapped within the accursed asylum. The asylum stood as a grim testament to the horrors that had transpired within its walls, a twisted monument to the darkness that had consumed the souls of the forsaken. And so Ravenswood became a place where time stood still, where the tormented cries of the lost lingered in the wind, a warning to those who dared to tread upon its cursed ground.